<laughs> now, you know, I talked to this guy, Mr. Benoit Jolet, and he found out that I invited you, you see. He said, Andy, Andy, you're going to love this couple. I said, why, what? What, they got a good quick step, what? The finalists, what? He said, they're small like you. <laughs> now, you got anything to say about that? Yeah, I heard his flight got cancelled on Tuesday. <laughs> so, what's up next for you guys? Um, we've got the British Nationals at the end of the week. Um, we dance Thursday, Friday and Saturday in Bournemouth Latin. Just next week? Wow, okay. You find it this day, in this day and age, very hard to keep up to 10 dance? Yeah, uh, because yeah, lessons in England are so expensive. Um, some of the professionals charge a lot. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> I have one last question, okay? Now, you are Blackpool finalists. That means you're the tops in the world. Does that mean there's more pressure than when you were like the 48s? Do you feel that there's more pressure at the top? Of course it's different, but uh, we quite enjoy this pressure. We prefer to have the pressure in the final than to have the pressure in the 48. But <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It, it gives you a little bit more, like, you know, uh, I, I can say, energy to improve your dancing, and we're quite happy. <laughs> well, said. well said, standard. There are three here. They all belong to you. First is a check donated by George and Wendy Picklick for the top BC couple. There is a check from the Grand Ballroom Company. And there is a check personally from Andy and Wendy. Now, which one do you want to see first? The one from George and Wendy Pitlick, the one from Grand Ballroom, or the one from Andy and Wendy? I, I think the audience has spoken. We'll pick door number three, please. <laughs> the check from Andy and Wendy. All right. Okay. Because we want to help you personally, help you get to the World Championship. There's Andy and Wendy's contribution to their travel fund to the Canadian Championship. 20 bucks for the taxi to the airport. And when you take the taxi, I want a receipt and a change back. Denmark. Now, last night we had um, Emmanuel and Tanya, and he's from Italy. And she's from Denmark. Now, is there some sort of national agreement between those two countries? <laughs> well, I have a question for you. I want to know, how the hell do you know all those things about people? <laughs> you are the most informed people I know in all the world. What's wrong with that? I'm joking, of course. We. I don't know why the connection, but there has been some few um, Italian imports to Denmark, <laughs> which uh, uh, the luck was it improved the level of Denmark very much. <laughs> so I think it was that. Don't you think, Michelle? No? Okay. Michelle, you get a chance to respond to that. He thinks he's improved your country. What do you think of that? I think they couldn't find any girls better anywhere else. <laughs> right on! I'm going to ask the question that all the guys want me to ask. So I'm merely the messenger, so don't think wrongly of me. How do you get into something like that? <laughs> Okay, don't answer it, okay. What, spray paint or what? <laughs> Marcus, Maria. Please, come. May I call you Eminem? <laughs> Is it Maria? Is that correct? Okay. Now, I'm just going to start by saying, in my humble 
professional opinion, you too are the perfect height for ballroom dancing. <laughs> Anybody dare to disagree? <laughs> so, do you find it to be an advantage, disadvantage with that aspect? Well, I, I think we enjoy dancing together and uh, so we don't actually think it's, it's quite No, good. I think it's very good. <laughs> Especially for the tango and quick step because when we are quite, quite short, it's much easier to be fast. Of course, sometimes it's, it's more difficult when, when there is two meter tall couples, but then we just have to use our dynamics. <laughs> this is one dynamic lady. Okay. I have so many questions to ask you. So many. First, very obvious one. Zia? You are the daughter of this gentleman, Mr. Colin James, correct? <laughs> he is world famous, national world finalist. There's got to be some pressure. How do you deal with that? Um, actually, there isn't any pressure because to many people, he might be famous. He, he's a good teacher. To me, he's just been my dad, right from the beginning. Now, don't be afraid. Whatever you say stays here. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Okay. I now remember the question I was going to ask you. I just remember it. When I invited you, Back, you said, can we stay an extra day to see the city? I said, sure, pay for yourself. <laughs> no, I did not say that. It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay, all right. My question is, there is Joe and Christina, they're staying for an extra day, and Zaya also staying an extra day. Now, you guys are going on the city tour together, paid by us. <laughs> My question is, how do you compete out to kick ass, as we say in English, and then the next day go out and tour with your competitors on a city tour? Like, how does that work? You, 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 your friends off the floor and enemy, well, not, uh, competitors on the floor. Does that... Uh, Tell me something about that. Well, we are grown-up people and we understand. <laughs> <laughs> where is uh, competing life and where is normal life, so we try to separate. No, I think that uh, there should be a positive concurrence rather than negative, because negative energy destroys uh, relationships between people. Well said. <laughs> let, let me get this straight. Did I hear this right? You're using the Grand Ball as a training ground for Ohio? Did I hear that right? Well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I have a question for you. Last year you were making fun of, uh, well, you were a joker yourself. So you said that Mario, you would like to try Latin with Mario. And I emailed you if you prepared a routine. So, do we want to see Andy doing the Latin? Listen, my friend. Once you try Latin with me, she'll drop you like a rock. <laughs> you got two bars of rumba. <laughs> That's all it takes, my friend.
the sun is warm here on the beach. I feel you near me. It's your face. You're crazy, man. <laughs> all right, Mary, that was such a pleasure. Just such a pleasure. Now, I wish you all the best. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. If you want to learn that, uh, it's on our Bronze 2 video. And it's on YouTube. <laughs>